Aw oh, yeah! What is going on, Global Citizens? Today's lesson focuses on one of the most entertaining and educational scenes ever by actor Will Smith from his world-famous 90s series, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. In this lesson, you're going to learn a ton of new vocab expressions, slang, idioms, and we're even going to teach you a few dynamic, connected speech and cultural explanations from black urban English. Just so you know, this scene is a bit more dramatic than we normally use for our lessons, so be prepared. But it's also considered by many to be Will Smith's best acting ever. If you like our videos and would like to watch more and support our cause, please take a moment to like this video and please do subscribe. Now let's get on to today's scene and learn English with Will Smith. Daddy out! What's up? Will, <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Um, some business came up I gotta handle. So we're gonna have to put a, our trip on hold. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's cool. That's cool. Just, just for a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a little longer. Yeah, whatever, whatever. Look, I'll, I'll call you next week and we'll iron out the details, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah, yeah. It was great seeing you, son. You too, Lou. Yeah. Yeah, um... I'm sorry, Will. You know what, actually, this works out better for me. You know, the Slimmies of Summer come to class wearing next to nothing, you know what I'm Will, saying? Will, it's all right to be angry. Hey, why should I be mad? I'm saying, at least he said goodbye this time. I just wish I hadn't wasted my money buying this stupid present. I'm sorry. I, you know, if there was something that I hey, could Hey, you do. know what? You ain't got to do no, nothing, Uncle Phil. Hey, you know, ain't like I'm still five years old, you know? Ain't like I'm going to be sitting up every night asking my mom, when's daddy coming home, you know? Who needs him? Hey, he wasn't there to teach me how to shoot my first basket, but I learned, didn't I? Hey, I got pretty damn good at it, too, didn't I, yeah, Uncle Phil? Did. Got through my first day without him. Right? Mm -hmm. I learned how to drive. I learned how to shave. I learned how to fight without him. I had 14 great birthdays without him. He never even sent me a damn card. Die out with him! I ain't need him then and I don't need him now. Will. Will. Nah, you know what, Uncle Phil? I'm gonna get through college without him. I'm gonna get a great job without him. I'm gonna marry me a beautiful honey, and I'm having me a whole bunch of kids. I'm gonna be a better father than he ever was. And I sure as hell don't need him for that, because ain't a damn thing he could ever teach me about how to love my kids. How come he don't want me, man? Daddy-o! What's up? Daddy-o, a slangy and formal way in which Will refers to his father. Will, <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Um, some business came up I gotta handle. So we're gonna have to put a, our trip on hold. Business. This word most commonly refers to work or professional activities, but in this scene, Will's father is using its secondary meaning, which is something that needs to be considered or dealt with. Example, I gotta go. I gotta take care of some business with my car. It's been having problems. Put something on hold to postpone something. Example, we had to put our plans on hold when unexpected circumstances occurred. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's cool. It's cool. I'm cool with that. Saying that's cool or it's cool is the same as saying it's okay or don't worry, there's no problem with that. You can also say I'm cool with that to express that you are okay with the situation or you agree with something. Example, when I told Frank I wasn't going to be able to attend his wedding, he said that it was cool and that he understood why I wasn't going. Yeah, whatever, whatever. Whatever. Used to show that something said or done is not important. As Will does in this scene, sometimes people say this trying to sound like something is okay, but in reality, it means the opposite. And they are also wishing the other person knows the situation is actually not okay. Example, you know, whatever. We never agree what to watch at the movies, so let's one more time watch what you want to watch. Look, I'll, I'll call you next week and we'll iron out the details, okay? Iron out. To resolve or work out a solution to a problem or an incomplete plan. For example, they ironed out their differences. 
To iron out details is a collocation that means to discuss and agree on the details of something. Example, I'm hopeful we can iron out the details of the contract. It was great seeing you, son. It was great seeing you. This expression is said at the end of a meeting with someone you haven't seen in a long time and that you hold great appreciation for. You might say this to an old friend or someone who you used to be very friendly with, but that you have had no contact with in a long time. Example, it was great seeing you. I hope we can meet again soon. You know what, actually this works out better for me, you know what it is. Works out. If something works out for you, it ends in a satisfactory way for you. Example, the plan didn't work out for me quite as I expected. Hey there, I want to pause this lesson to give you a chance to put what you're learning into practice with a new activity, the vocab challenge. Your challenge to pause this video and write an example in the comments using the phrasal verb we just taught to work out. Again, if something works out for you, it ends up in a satisfactory way. We often use this in the simple past with situations including relationships, jobs, or other experiments. For example, that job or school worked out for me. Or in the present continuous, these videos are really working out for me. We will pin this explanation and more examples in the top of the comments, but have a look at, share your example in the comments, and read the other examples. Remember, mistakes are a welcome part of the process, and I will go through offering feedback on many of the comments. Please pause the video now and share what is or isn't working out for you in your life. Now let's get back to the lesson. You know what, actually this works out better for me, you know, the Slimmies of Summer come to class wearing next to nothing, you know what I'm well, saying? It's slimmies, another word for girls, popular 90s street slang and often used on this TV show. Next to nothing, almost nothing or very little. Example, I knew next to nothing when I started, but look how far I've come. Know what I'm saying? Similar to, do you know what I mean? This is a discourse marker used to ask if someone agrees with you, or more importantly, if they follow what you're saying. The full expression is, do you know what I'm saying, but it's often shortened and pronounced really fast and with connected speech as, you know what I'm saying, or know what I'm saying. Hey, he wasn't there to teach me how to shoot my first basket, but I learned, didn't I? Hey, I got pretty damn good at it too, didn't I, yeah, Uncle Phil? Shoot a basket to make an effort to throw the basketball inside the hoop. Pretty damn good. Pretty and damn are emphasizing words. They intensify the meaning of an adjective. When put together, you can add an extra emphasis to what you're saying. Example, today was pretty damn hot. To hell with him! To hell with her or him. Exclamation we used to say that you don't care about that person or situation or something else anymore. Example, to hell with those people. They're not your friends. They just want favors. I need him then and I don't need him now. I need him then and I don't need him now. I need him then and I don't need him now. Got through my first date without him, right? Now, you know what, Uncle Phil? I'm gonna get through college without him. Get through something. To complete something that's challenging or difficult. Example, he got through college without failing a single exam. I'm gonna marry me a beautiful honey. Honey, generally used as an affectionate way to address a person. In this scene, Will uses honey as a synonym of woman which in the 90s was common slang expression. And I sure as hell don't need him for that. To be sure as hell, to be completely sure. Example, you're sure as hell gonna learn English if you live it with learning English with TV series. How come he don't want me, man? He don't. Although this doesn't make sense from a grammatical point of view, it's not very uncommon to sometimes see don't after he, she, or it, where doesn't would normally be used. Using don't with a third person singular can be a sign of a lack of education or a case of colloquial or comedic use of the language. Black urban dialect. The black urban dialect of American English that Will Smith uses in this series can be quite confusing for learners. Although Smith didn't grow up poor or uneducated, he does speak with mild or not very strong black urban pronunciation. Notice that in this scene he uses a few different and seemingly incorrect grammatical and pronunciation patterns. For example, he uses the controversial constructions ain't and I'm a. Hey, you know what? You ain't got to do no, nothing, Uncle Phil. Hey, you know, ain't like I'm still five years old, you know? This word is used as an alternative to the negative form of the verb to be. Am not, is not, are not. The verb have, have not, and has not, and the verb do, do not, and does not. It's also sometimes used to replace the past forms of those verbs. In terms of use, this word is regarded by some as improper and habitual in groups of less educated speakers. But it's important to remember that it's perfectly okay if you know how and when to use it, which is a challenge, and want to convey a colloquial or comedic tone, as even educated people use amongst their friends. For example, 
This game ain't over until it's over. I ain't got time for your silly games. Will uses ain't five times in this dialogue to say don't, didn't, and isn't. Check it out. You ain't got to do no, nothing. Ain't like I'm still five years old. Ain't like I'm gonna be sitting up. I ain't need him Cause ain't a damn thing. Black urban pronunciation. I'm a. I'm gonna get through college without him. This is a colloquial contraction of I'm going to that, although it's still considered black urban English, is more and more common in mainstream spoken American English. So how does I'm going to become Ima? We know that natives cut, connect, and blend their words on different levels, according to how fast and or how formal the situation. This is an excellent example. I'm going to reduces to I'm gonna. On the first level, it reduces to I'm gonna. On the second level, and as Will demonstrates six times in this scene, the third level connected speech reduction here is Ima. Ain't like I'm gonna be, I'm gonna get through college without him. I'm gonna get a great job without him. I'm gonna marry me a beautiful honey, and I'm having me a whole bunch of kids. I'm gonna be a better father than he ever was. Daddy out. What's up? Will. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Um, some business came up I gotta handle. So we're gonna have to put a, our trip on hold. You understand? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's cool. That's cool. Just, just for a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm, I understand. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a little longer. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Look, I'll, I'll call you next week and we'll iron out the details. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah, yeah. It was great seeing you, son. You too, Lou. Yeah, um... I'm sorry, Will. <laughs> you know what, actually, this works out better for me. You know, the Slimmies of Summer come to class wearing next to nothing, you know what I'm well, saying? Will, it's all right to be angry. Hey, why should I be mad? I'm saying, at least he said goodbye this time. I just wish I hadn't wasted my money buying this stupid present. I I'm sorry, I, you know, if there was... Something that I Hey, you know do. what? You ain't got to do no, nothing, Uncle Phil. Hey, you know, ain't like I'm still five years old, you know? Ain't like I'm going to be sitting up every night asking my mom, when's daddy coming home, you know? Who needs him? Hey, he wasn't there to teach me how to shoot my first basket, but I learned, didn't I? Hey, I got pretty damn good at it, too, didn't I, yeah, Uncle Phil? Did. Got through my first day without him, right? Mm -hmm. I learned how to drive. I learned how to shave. I learned how to fight without him. I had 14 great birthdays without him. He never even sent me a damn card. Die out with him! I ain't need him then, and I don't need him now. Will. Will. Nah, you know what, Uncle Phil? I'm going to get through college without him. I'm going to get a great job without him. I'm going to marry me a beautiful honey, and I'm having me a whole bunch of kids. I'm going to be a better father than he ever was. And I sure as hell don't need him for that, because ain't a damn thing he could ever teach me about how to love my kids. How come he don't want me, man? Aw uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that lesson and the new vocab challenge activity. If you are loving these lessons, I encourage you to check out our free three-part mini course, Teaching Our Very Favorite Scene Ever from Friends. You can join that for free by clicking on the image in the upper left. Also, we'd really love to invite you to subscribe to our channel and watch our videos every single week. To do that, click on the image in the top right. And finally, if you want to watch more of these videos right now, here's a playlist with some of our favorite videos and they even have free PDFs. Thanks for watching and remember, don't just learn English, live it.